Today, we're going to be demonstrating how to do a lace 27 piece with custom lines on the side. My client is already prepped. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply her stocking cap and I'm using a very thin stocking cap that you can get out of your local beauty supply store. And make sure that when you do this, you stretch the cap out so that it doesn't buckle. So now you will go in with the lace glue of your choice. I'll be using the Ebon Platinum. I will be applying my lace glue with a wood stick. And I like to use wood sticks because it's very sanitary. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get these. It's very cost efficient. And you can throw them away after every client. I will be using Indian Tower 27 piece and Empire 12 inch straight. This is my 4x4 lace closure and it has already been prepped. And of course if you've been watching my channel for a while now, I will be straightening my 1 inch out of the 27 piece hair. And this is how I do all of my quick weave styles if it is a 27 piece. And this is what you should end up with after you have straightened the hair. Now I'm going to begin cutting the stocking cap from around the perimeter of the head. You're going to cut as close to the glue line as possible. This is going to help make sure that the stocking cap doesn't roll up. But because you have a glue line there, you won't have to worry about the stocking cap rolling back. This is why you did it this way so that it stays in place. Now you are going to prep the area with alcohol. You're going to make sure that you are removing any excess oil. Now you're going to begin laying down the layers of glue. What you're going to do is make sure that you spread very, very thin layers because you want to make sure that the layers dry clear. Now you're going to go ahead and lay down your lace closure. After everything is laid down where you want it to go, take your eyebrow razor and go ahead and cut off the remaining lace. Now you're going to do your parting. When you part, make sure that you leave at least a half an inch of hair so that you can cover the tracks. After you have finalized where you're going to put your part, you're going to take your tweezers and tweeze out all of the hairs in that part. This is going to define how your part looks. Now you are going to begin sewing down the lace closure and you will begin in the back of the closure making sure that you pull this a little bit tight so that you don't have to worry about any buckles. You will apply glue to both ends of the strip so that the glue stays and so that you don't have to worry about the paper coming up. You will need to bond that to your client's head. Now I'm going to begin laying down my first track. Make sure that you hold down your track with your middle finger, then pull it tight 
around and blow dry it in place this is going to help that track to not flip up in the long run as your client is wearing this if you have been following my channel for a while now you already know how I like to lay down my tracks and you can go to any of my other videos and see how I do this in detail but I am going to speed this video up also please make sure that you like comment share and subscribe your feedback is very important to me and also if anything that you want me to do or show you guys make sure that you drop that feedback in the comments as well if you are new to the channel thank you for everyone who have already been here for a while and been supporting me since day one thank you so much for being loyal Right now I am using my 3 inch hair. This is going to help give the style body. After you comb everything out, you are now ready to begin shaving down the back of the quick weave. I do have the razor guard off. I do not recommend this if you do not have experience using the razor. Please make sure that you are very careful when you're doing this because you can not only cut your client, but you can cut yourself. So make sure that you take your time and be careful whenever you're doing this. Again, if you do not have experience with using the razor comb and, you know, if you don't want to take the guard off, you don't have to. But for me, I take the guard off only because it makes it very very easy and i can get closer than normal with the guard off Right now you're going to go ahead and find your parting area that you originally parted out. You are now going to prep to go ahead and mold this hair in place. Right here all I'm going to do now is go ahead and cut the hair even with the side. You will pull this hair out so that you have about one inch of hair left on the closure. After you're done razoring everything down, you're going to get your Aunt Jackie's foam wrap lotion and all you're going to do is go ahead and slick everything down. Take your trimmers and go ahead and outline the hair around the head. I like to go ahead and do this part so that whenever she comes out from underneath the dryer, everything will be laid down in place. Go ahead and take your wrap strip and tie everything down. You will put her underneath the dryer for roughly around 30 minutes to an hour. And this is how everything should look after everything is dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a crop clip to clip away the rest of the hair that's going to cover the tracks. Now you're going to begin tracking the opposite side of the head. You will angle those tracks going towards the face. When you first begin, you will start by using single tracks and as you go up, you will begin double tracking. This will help make sure that you do not run out of hair.
Now you are ready to prepare yourself to begin styling. You're going to comb everything out. You're going to make sure that every track is in place and laying flat. Comb that hair from your lace closure on top of the tracks. Make sure everything is laying flat. Go in and spray your Design Essentials Diamond Oil Sheen. Use your Andes Hot Comb to go ahead and straighten out the roots and cover that track. Just to make sure that everything is laying flat, I'm going to run that hot comb back through that again, just so that it's laying down. Now you're going to go ahead and spray that oil sheen again, and you can use any type of serum if you like, but you're going to comb out that side and loosen everything up. You don't want anything sticking because you are going to begin cutting the lines on this side, but you want it to be laying nice and flat. Use your trimmers to start your first line. Please be careful whenever you are doing this. You do not have to press hard, but you want to make sure that you are being as neat as possible because whenever that hair is cut, it is cut and you cannot put it back. Use your bed head hard head to kind of lay it down. Don't spray too much because it will begin to flake. Then all you're going to do is use your edge brush just to kind of blend everything in. You want those bristles to be very, very fine so that the hair doesn't spread. Now you will use low to medium heat to dry that side down. As you're blow drying, you are pressing down on the hair to make sure everything is laying down flat. Now you're going to use your concealer, your Duo Kiss Cream Concealer. You're going to define that line. This is what help makes everything pop. I'm using the level 16, which has two darker tones in it, but you can find this at your local beauty supply store. To clean up my part, all I'm going to do is just use temporary hair color dye and all I'm doing is lining it out just to make sure that that line is crispy. Now that you are done doing that, you're going to begin cutting that side. You're going to be going in a diagonal so you want everything from going from short to long please be careful to do not nick your client's ear take your time and do this to make sure that cut looks very very nice now i'm going to go in and clean up the layers that i've already cut so now i'm going to take my scissors i'm going to pull everything down but to keep my length i'm going to pull it back just a tad I will be going in with my TG Wax Stick and this is going to help the lace closure blend with the rest of the hair. Now I'm going to go in and use my crop clip to section out the hair. Make sure that you use small sections to do this because with commercial hair, the hair is way thicker than normal and you want to make sure that all of the hair is flat ironed. To flat iron her hair, I will be using my Ion One Stroke and this is a one inch. The plates on this flat iron has a slight curve, so it's going to help you not have to work so hard and you don't have to worry about any lines in the hair. After you flat iron the hair, hold the hair out so that the heat doesn't burn your client.
and this is your finished look all you have to do now is apply a little bit of cleanup any final touches that you have to make this is the time to do it because once the client is out the door they're out of the door right here all i'm doing is covering her cap just a little bit there taking that hair using my bed head hard head to direct that hair in the direction that i want it to go so that you can see that everything is seamless <laughs> 